This video is going to be demonstrating how to add a Google Chrome browser user, a user to the browser itself. In Austin ISD, we do want to keep our district Google accounts and our personal Google accounts separate so that when we're in our Chrome browser, uh, our Gmail does not interact or interfere with our district Google accounts. Operating the browser this way is going to reduce the number of times that students or teachers will confuse their personal Google Drive with their district one and reduce the number of times that teachers will say that they need to request permission to open a document that was shared within the district. Also, in syncing this Chrome user account with my district Google account, my browser will have access to all of my bookmarks, all of my extensions, uh, the histories, the things that I've created on a Chromebook or any other Chrome browser synced to my Google ID. It's important to keep a distinction between the Chrome browser and a window in the browser. Uh, so this is a, a user account. This is one window in my Google Chrome and this is a different window in Google Chrome Within Chrome itself, the browser, I'm going to add some different user Google accounts so that that way they can stay separate. For example, if we look at this window and I were to go to google.com, I'm going to see my little charm over here. And if I click on it, it tells me that this is my district account. I do not see any other accounts on here. In some schools and secondary campuses, especially we may see a track uh, or a volleyball, Gmail, or you know, club accounts. What we want to do is we only want to have our district account in one window. And if I open up a different window with a different user, then I would have my Gmail or some other personal account. So how does that? How do we add a user? Uh, in my browser, I can go up to the very top, and I'm going to select on my little charm. If I've never done this, it may just be a silhouette image. It may be called user one. Uh, you'll see on here that I have a number of different accounts that I could open up. These have all been added to my browser, but I want to come down to manage people. In manage people, I will be able to see a list of the accounts that I've added. At the very bottom, I have add person. So I'm going to add an account to my browser. And if I'm adding my district account, I might want to put the word AISD in there, AISD Howard. And then we will select uh, an image that you find interesting. All right, we're going to click Add. At this point, Google Chrome is going to, going to ask, do you want to turn sync on? And we're going to say yes, we do want to sync this account. And now it says, what account do you want to sync? And this is where we're going to type our district email account. When I click next, it's going to take me to the portal. And now I need to authenticate my Google account through the district portal. It may ask me to verify that it's me and I would click continue here. After this part, I will get a message that asks me if I would like to link my data to Austin ISD. And the suggestion here is that yes, I do want to. This is the option that allows my bookmarks, it allows my, uh, my preferences, my extensions, it allows those to come up on this browser. And when I go home and repeat this process on my desktop computer at home and I link the data, that means that whatever I bookmark on one computer, I will have access to on the others. And this just makes my uh, work environment a lot more mobile so I have access to what I need wherever I go.